Sunshines! So it is really, really hot upstairs right now, and I'm filming and I'm melting, but I'm totally doing this for you. I'm so freaking excited about tonight's video. You probably already read the title, and you know it's going to be a book haul from Penguin! Okay, so they sent me a lot of books, so we're gonna dive in. I really don't remember what they sent me, so we're gonna find out together! It's gonna be an adventure! Okay, so most of these books are already out by now, unfortunately. Just because of the time that I got them, and the time that I'm filming this, and all of that, they've been out for a little while, a few of them, but some have not been out for very long. Okay, so let's dive in. Alright, first one. <clears throat> let's find out here. The Daughter of Deep Silence, and it's by Carrie Ryan. So this book was intriguing to me because of the subject matter. It's a revenge thriller that follows a young-ish girl as she is trying to avenge the death of a bunch of people she knows and loved who died in a yacht fire. So that's really an interesting sort of topic, and I just, I thought it would be really interesting. So yeah, I don't know when this book came out, but it's been out for, I think, a teeny bit of time now. The next book is called Children of the Earth, and it is by Anna Schumacher, I think. And this is book two in a duology. I believe it's a duology. It might not be ended, it might be continuing on, but it's essentially a book about the end times in the biblical sense, like the revelation, biblical revelation, end times. I'm really curious to see how this book goes. Growing up in the church, I have been surrounded by the Bible and revelation and the end times as a subject matter for a very long time. Um, I watched all of the films, I read the children's books, I read the adults books kind of growing up, so I'm curious to see how her take on this is and if it even is about that, which I think it is. It mentions God on the inner flap, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm curious. I'm intrigued, as it were. This book had me hooked from the title alone. This book is The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly by Stephanie Oakes. This book was released on June 9, so a few days ago. I'm a little behind the times here. Whatever. It follows 17-year-old Minnow who has been in jail for 12 years, lost her family, and literally lost her hands to a cult. What? It says that it's like one of those books where you follow the main character who goes through something. Could you go through the same thing? is kind of the question you end up asking yourself. So I'm very curious to read this. I'm very interested. Who knows? Seems kind of dark. Seems kind of thrillery. We'll see. This book is called The Glass Sentence by S.E. Grove. This book is book one in a duology, I believe. It follows a young girl who is searching for her uncle in the new world that was created in the great destruction of 1799. Apparently, each of the continents of our current world were flung into five different time periods which sounds super interesting and fascinating. So I'm really excited to read this book and see how it ends up. The second book is called The Golden Specific and is out in July of this year. So I'm really, really interested to see how this book goes. It sounds fascinating. I should also mention that the Map Maker series is a middle grade fiction series. I like being able to recommend middle grade books. I know that I have quite a few middle grade viewers who watch me. So I thought that it would be really great to read and review that on my channel. Okay, next up, the box. So I opened all of these things um, so that it would be easier to talk about them without having to deal with like opening the box and all the packages and stuff. Ah, The End Times. This is also by Anna Shoemaker. This is book one in that duology that I was talking to you about earlier. The End Times and the Children of Earth, or Children of the Earth. Yeah, so I'm curious. Now I have both of them. I can read this one before I read that one. Cool. This book has been out for a little while as well. It is called Point and it is by Brandy Colbert. This book is, you probably guessed it, about ballet, but it's not just about ballet. It kind of takes us through a little bit of the darker side of ballet as well. And it follows our narrator, Theo, who panics when her best friend, who's been missing for four years after having been kidnapped, returns home. Fascinating, it sounds thrillery, it sounds mysterious. I thought it sounded really interesting, so thoughts on this coming soon. Okay, how could I not be interested in this book after the title? It's called Mosquito Land. It's by David Arnold. Mosquito Land, and how cool is this graphic? Like, the art on the cover. I really dig super cool art on books, and this book meets that requirement for me. Mosquito Land is about a 16-year-old girl called Mim who ends up on a 1,000-mile bus ride trying to find her mom. And we basically end up in her head, in her mind. We talk about love and her notions of sanity, and like, we just kind of follow her brain. It's promising to make us laugh and and cry and all of the emotions all of the emotions I will let you guys know what I think of this book coming soon but definitely probably worth the checking it out from what it sounds like bye guys
gosh, I'm so excited about these last two books. I didn't know if these books would end up coming or not, but I'm really excited. Rebel Bell and Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins. I am so excited. So, Rebel Bell follows Harper Price, who is a Southern Belle. It follows her as she becomes a paladin who are an ancient line of guardians and she is supposed to protect this one guy at school who she absolutely cannot stand. Fascinating. So this is where she learns about those instincts and those powers. I've actually already read Rebel Bell, but I might give it a reread just so I'm prepared to read Miss Mayhem. Um, and Miss Mayhem is book two. In this book, her friend comes back after having disappeared. There's a pageant. There's all kinds of shenanigans that happen. So I'm excited to finish this book. I think it's a trilogy. It might be a duology. I don't know. All right, you guys. Well, that is my relatively ginormous Penguin Teen haul. Be sure to check out the description down below for a list of all the books I talked about in this video. Reviews on individual books will be coming soon. I'm not sure which books or which duologies, trilogies, whatever will get their own reviews, but I will definitely chat about the books in my wrap-up video whenever that happens. If there are any books that I talked about in this video that sounded interesting to you, like you would want me to do a review, leave a comment down below because I definitely read those. I'm so interested to hear what you guys have to say about what I'm reading. Just a quick plug also if you guys haven't already checked it out there will also be a link down below linking you to a free 30-day trial and a free book from Audible so that's really cool. Thank you to Penguin for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah. Mashed avocado, tomatoes, corn, some black beans, and some cheese. And they Types are. of this product. But this is the custom color blush and it's really bright. I know it seems scary.